Hello, this is H.A. Bailey, and welcome back to Let's Play Chrono Trigger! Let's get a start on the original side quests to the Super Nintendo version of the game that, well, they're also in the DS version. If you don't like the Lost Sanctum, you can just skip that. So, let's head on to 600 AD. Now, in order to start this side quest, you had to have already talked to the lady who got that plant from the Guru of Life and told her to plant it. So that way, the sunken desert right there will appear. If that's not there, you gotta go back to that uh, village in 12,000 BC, or what's left of it, and talk to the lady who has that plant there, which now Fiona has. Why the desert or sunken desert only appears after getting the plant, I don't know. You would think it would have already worked by now, but well, apparently we still gotta deal with them, so like Marco was saying there, we gotta use water against them, or the monsters down there, so that's why I'm bringing Marley along. You could bring Magus if you wanted to, but I think Marley could use the experience, and there's not many, too many areas where she's gonna be useful in the side quest areas. So, we got a whole bunch of new enemies here. Let's start with Ice 2 from Marley there. I've only got a Berserker Ring on Frog because Ayla has the Valor Crest that I've got in the Lost Sanctum there, so let's give it a try. Yeah, look at that damage. Just a regular physical attack. Okay, so anyway, there's seven battles in this one area. I'm just going to clear them all off screen, and I'll be right back. Okay, we're back. I cleared all the battles, so now let's grab some treasure. Yeah, if you don't have the equipment that's exclusive to the DS version, don't worry about it. It's not that critical. Critical. I'm simply using it just because I have it, you know, make it different. Might as well take advantage of it. But yeah, I mean, if you, like if you don't have the haste helm by now, well, because you're playing the Super Nintendo version or PlayStation version, well, equip something else. I mean, uh... Uh, what is it? A Rainbow Helm or whatever? I mean, it's it's not that critical. I mean, Chrono Trigger is easy enough as it is. Yeah, I want to heal up here. Almost forgot to do that. See, uh, that is one thing I was thinking about, though. If you are playing the Super Nintendo version, you probably want to have Magus in your party. Because he needs the tech points. Now, I got the Alluring Top on Ayla and the... Power ring on Frog there. I've got a bone to pick. Or I already made that pun earlier. I see you for boss time against the Retinite. I mean, uh, Melfix. Your your name is Melfix. Oh. Hmm. Okay. Well, first things first. You want to charm a speed capsule from the core there. And I'm going to do something a little different from the original LP. One thing that I didn't know is that if you kill the core, the boss goes into pissy boss mode. So, you want to try to actually avoid defeating the core first. And I want to use drop down dual tech there to deal as much damage as possible because once you hit the guy, he's going to uh, regain his defense there. Ice. So it's kind of like the uh, the dinosaurs in the, the prehistory where you had to use lightning on them to reduce their defense and then attacking them would raise their defense. Or at least with uh, Nizbel anyway. So in this case though, instead of lightning, you got ice or water. Either or will do. They're pretty much the same element anyway and then just go to town. You could have Marley cast haste on everyone. It's not a big deal either way. I'm just doing it just because, but you don't have to. Yeah, because I mean, this battle's almost what we're in. So, just leave the core alone and we'll be in pretty good shape. Now, it, with the core, being the only thing left, if you just sit around for a while, they'll just run away. I suppose I could have killed it. Hmm. I wonder if I would have gotten tech points for that. 
Although I do already have all my text maps, so I don't know if that would be relevant, but it's... Well, whatever. Anyway, let's grab the other treasure. I just figured I had the boss in a good position there. Might as well just fight him while I can. Just walk up to him once he pops out of the sand, and that's it. So, pretty easy there. So, let's get out of here if I can. Can conveyor belts. Ooh, sparkle. Shiny. Shiny, shiny. Shiny, shiny, shiny. There we get a strength capsule. I want to use that on Frog there, because, well, Ayla's pretty close to max strength now, so Frog can use that. Let's do that there. And, thinking about the speed capsule, and right, let's get out of here first. So, okay, we got all the monsters for you. Now let's get Luca and Robo into the party. Well, Luca, I just want to use the speed capsule on. And uh, someone was asking me, It's Shea Bailey, what does the double star mean for speed? Well, double star for well, any stat means max. You can't increase it anymore. But uh, with speed, the max is 16. Whereas I think pretty much any other stat, is, the max is 99. Including your level, too. Sure, why not? Help her out for 400 years! Great, you've been turned into a plow. Comb the desert! You find anything yet, Robo? We ain't found shit! Does he say anything else? Oh, okay. Goodbye! Have a nice life! Make sure to recharge Robo's batteries. What are you doing there, Robo? Are you dancing on the job? Get back to work! Doing the robot dance or something? I don't know. I don't even know what the robot dance is. I, I just know the name. It's a dance style, a bad one from what, the stories I've heard. Not that I would know. Maybe I'm fortunate to not know what it is. At least he's still around, but yeah, now that Robo's been around for a while, the forest has been restored, and we can get new equipment. Most importantly, the Vigilance Hat. We want to get two of those to give us three sets of gear that can block status ailments. If you're playing the Super Nintendo version of the game, or the PlayStation version, screw it, I'm just going to say the Super Nintendo version. Uh, you will probably want to buy a third one, since you probably don't have a Nova armor yet. But whatever, I mean, it's not absolutely critical right now. But I do want two of them. If not, you can find them later, but, well, you can go either way. Okay, how's it going? Brought a new battery for you. How did you survive this long? Uh, what, are you solar-powered or something? Well, actually, by the 2300 or even 1999, whenever he was built, they probably had solar power with all those domes and everything. And then Lavos came out, and, well, everyone got overloaded with solar power. Huh, the Entity, huh? I think the Entity is probably just like the planet's I don't know, consciousness or something, or whatever. I don't think, like, the planet is a conscious entity or anything like that. I think the characters are just kind of reading too much into it. I just think, like... I don't think the gates were deliberately created, but I think it's just, like, a reaction between Lavos in the planets, creating rips in space, time, whatever, I don't know. Although it does kind of seem odd that, you know, the three gurus and Janus were warped away all at once. I mean, it almost looked like it was intentional. But that doesn't seem to be the case. So, I don't know. You got me on that one, viewers. Whatever. 
maybe it's the game designer. Or the player, I don't know. Speak with the planet, Robo. Show the planet you care. Well, okay, I suppose you did by replanting the forest, but it's just going to get burned down in a thousand years anyway. What's going on, Luca? Oh, there's a secret gate here. Right, let's go check it out. It's a red one. But yeah, this music here is actually the same gate music that plays when you well, go through a gate normally. It's just the gate music is running on longer now, so you get to hear the entire song before you pop out the other end. <laughs> Blow. Stupid science. Always getting in my way. Huh. Well, if you remember... Well, let's hold on a second. Let's just take a look around. Okay. How's it going? Yeah, you see her name is Lara. So that's the password that we're looking for. If you're playing the Super Nintendo version or the DS version, well, that's pretty easy. You press L-A-R-A, -A, and that's it. If you're playing the PlayStation version, you're screwed! Now, now you can use, I think, Triangle for A or something like that. I don't know. I haven't played the PlayStation version in a while, and I wouldn't recommend it. L-A-R-A. -A. Ding! And we got it. Just take your time entering the password. You got plenty of time. But yeah, remember when, if you saw Lara earlier in the game, well, she would have been stuck in her chair the whole time. Because her legs were broken from that accident, evidently. But, well, now that we've saved her, she can walk around. So, hooray! Sounds like a plane is passing over my house. About to crash it. Whoa! No. no just kidding, viewers. But there is, it does kind of sound like a plane out there. Nah, whatever. What's going on? Oh, great. He's flashing her. Literally. Oh, so for doing this side quest, we get the green dream, which is basically an auto life accessory. I wonder if that thing breaks after using it. I never actually use that. I don't know. Maybe it's only once per battle and that's it. I, I don't know. I know there's that auto life tech, or triple tech, that we can use with Chrono, Marley, and Robo, but uh, I don't think that's necessary. Okay, so what I want to do is heal up, rearrange my party for a boss fight, and I'll be right back again. Okay, we're back. Now, we could have fought Specchio uh, in his new form earlier in the game, once we hit level 40, but I figured uh, we needed to wait so that way we could get the Vigilance hat, so that way we can have status protection. You will see why, viewers. So, yeah, I couldn't have done it earlier. So, we got the Nova Armor there. If you got want the Haste Town, so much the better. But, yeah, basically all you need to beat Specchio in this form is some form of status protection. You could also use Scala's Amulet if you wanted to. Although, I'd recommend the hat myself. Okay, so, first things first. He's going to use Chaos Zone on the party, which will confuse you and really hurt Robo. So, yeah, you want to get haste on everyone and heal up them. Yeah, that's why you want the Vigilance hat to block that confusion status, because if you can't control your characters, there's not a whole lot you can do. You won't be able to heal yourself or do anything. Or it'll just make the fight take a lot longer. So, yeah, that's why I was putting it off for a while. Let's get haste on Luca there, and then we should be good to go. Just fast forward! Because it's pretty much the same thing now. We just go flare, uh, heal up a little bit, yeah, I might want to heal up Robo, so that way he doesn't get annihilated by another Chaos Zone. And Robo is pretty much going to be my healer for the fight. Uh, once you've gotten haste on everyone, and you don't need to heal anymore, then you can use Antipode Bomb 3, and 
I used an elixir on Luca because, well, she needed more MP. Maybe I should have given her a golden stud, but eh, whatever. So yeah, Robo just keeps him there on the sidelines for healing. Everyone else use Anthropoid Bomb 3 or Flare if Marley is dead. All right, we got him. And for defeating this form, we get a lot of capsules there and more elixirs after I used one on Luca there. So yeah, this is pretty much Specchio's second to last form. You get it at level 40 and it goes all the way up to level 98. Once you get up to max level, he has another form that we could use. So, yeah, I'll just equip whatever on um, Luca there. But anyway, let's get the Strength Capsule to Frog, Nasha Capsule to Robo, and the Speed Capsule to Luca. That's why I had to remove the Taven Suit, because with it, she was already at max speed anyway. So I had to remove that so I could view her innate speed and use the Strength Capsule on her. But what side quest will I do next? Find out next time on Let's Play Chrono Trigger! This is HG Bailey, signing off. Have a good day.